The eyes of the world are on Kenya. But the terrorist attack and siege at a shopping mall in Nairobi struck home for Parbati and Biznath Ramratan. We never expect it as parents to live it. Where we have to cremate his son before us. The eldest son, Ravi, was among close to 70 people killed when terrorists held customers at a popular mall hostage in one of the country's worst attacks. We will never be able to do our rights. And we wanted sons so that they could take care of their sister. We got the two sons who would also do our rights, but now we have to do his in return. It's something we never expected in this life. At his Monroe Road home on Monday, his family was preparing to say goodbye, even with disbelief that their Ravi was gone. He was the pride and joy of this family, the community, the school, the country, and even in Kenya, he was well loved. This is the trophy that he received at his school for the accomplishment. That accomplishment, the 2002 President's Medal, but it's one of many more for this past pupil of Presentation College in Chaguanas. And his parents proudly display his achievements, like his degrees from Cambridge and Oxford Universities and the London School of Economics. Ravi was our eyeball, he was a gem. He was the most exceptional individual ever come across. And we will never ever get over this. Because when he went to Kenya, he went with good intentions. Ravi received numerous offers after graduating, they tell us, but he chose Kenya, hoping to help reduce poverty in the African nation. He worked at a program funded by the World Bank and the government there to develop the financial sector in charge of bringing banking closer to the people. It angers his parents that his life was cut so short. Why is there so much violence in this world? Why so many innocent lives have to be lost for a simple cause that could be done, achieved in a, on a peaceful means? Details are still unclear, but it's a mall he frequently visits and it is believed he was having lunch at the time of the attack. Some reports say he was one of those held hostage. He conquered, and but he was conquered eventually. You cannot find another person like Ravindra Ramatan. Their planned trip to Kenya next year to visit him won't happen but they tell us he has left them with proud memories.